Hey guys, so it's me, Kiani. Today's video is going to be featuring this look. Recently, I actually picked up these earrings and I was inspired to create something very fun, very whimsical, yet edgy. Spring is around the corner, so I wanted to start getting out some tutorials to show you something fun and exciting. This tutorial is definitely combining my favorite colors. Um, some of the lilac, which is the newest hottest shade for spring, and the teal. For this look, you will need to have several different precision brushes, some brush cleaner, um, your MAC Fix Spray. I did pull out my BH 120 palette to create a lot of the pigment, as well as use my um, Urban Decay Basics palette to create a lot of the um, flat shades as well as my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. Now, before you freak out on all the different palettes that I pulled out, make sure you use a lot of what you currently have and pay attention to the technique. If this is a look you're interested in, stay tuned and I'll show you how I created it. First, I'm going to begin by grabbing my flat angled brush and you'll notice how I turn the angle to really get the maximum amount of product on the eye itself. And I constantly flip this brush just to really allow the angle to be the most flattened portion against my eyelid. And I'm actually using my Wet n Wild gel liner in the color Little Black Dress. And I'm just continuously building this angled shape here. And you can tell that I'm filling it in and removing this Strokes. Now moving over to my Vice 2 palette and grabbing the color Love Sick and just really really patting in that shade. I'm, I've already switched brushes. This brush I actually found in my local Sephora store. I will the name of the, leave the name of this brush in the down bar. Next I'm moving in with a color called Strike again from my Vice 2 palette to pat that color in and you'll notice again I'm flipping that brush to apply the maximum amount of color. I did off camera spray some of my MAC Fix Spray just to minimize the fallout and just continue to pat that into the desired color and smooth over any skipping. Take it all the way in flatten the shade out. Next I'm going in with the feathery brush and using a shade from my Naked Basics palette. This color is called Naked 2 and I'm just buffing that in to create a little bit of contour and I've moved up with the Venus again from the Naked Basics palette. Next I'm going in with a little bit of um, concealer from my Motives Correcting Unit with my Sigma concealing brush and just really um, cleaning up my edges. Going back in again with that same shade Naked 2 again from the Naked Basics palette and just blending that in. Just nice dusting feathery strokes and now you're seeing me do just a little bit of clean up here. You want to make this line as crisp as possible. Minimize the additional product that you apply and that will minimize the fallout and just go back in and detail that out again using that angled brush. These brushes I am in love with. They really allow me to create um, in a manner that is more precise. Next I'm going in with my Lit Glitter using the brush or the applicator that comes along in the trial packet. Um, I actually moisten that with the glue that comes with the Lit Glitter and just pack on um, as much shimmer and sparkle as you would like. I did a lot of glittery shimmery looks for the holiday season so if that's your type of thing there will be plenty of the content um, in the down bar. And look at there mommy's little man. That's uh, Mr. Earl Chandler everyone. My son. My six year old boy. And luckily we have my studio in my home so when I'm creating um, the kids don't miss me as much and I as well don't miss them. I'm going in cleaning up a little bit now with my Ben Nye powder. This is the banana powder and you will see me uh, really detailing out that eyeliner 
again going back in with the wet and wild gel liner and using that exact same angle brush and um, you notice I've grabbed a mirror to really um, eliminate any skipping and um, this is probably the same struggle you girls have so I'm just showing you that on camera grab a little bit of the um, bottom lashes I applied some of those which are luckily self adhesive and now um, you're seeing me apply the upper lashes and it's really moving in to make sure that they don't flip and there's a blooper that's what happens in real life even to me next I'm going back in with the wet and wild and um, the gel liner and just packing that on and um, again moving in with a little bit of the love stick and just patting that shade in um, to eliminate any gap that I've applied the bottom lashes with flatten it out um, you can just use a simple black um, Urban Decay makes an extremely black um, eyeshadow in that Naked Basics palette it's called Crave so I did pat my brush in that as well and flatten it out and now I'm extending my first wing just pull tiny feathery strokes I get asked this question an awful lot and those flashes you see there is my husband um, grabbing pictures of the angles so um, in the tutorial and the blog on this video you'll be able to see that truly from an angle and um, see my commentary on that I'm going in now with my um, here. I've um, applied the first layer of plum and then I'll go back in and use gradually increasingly lighter shades of purple to create the perfect shade of lilac. I also um, alternated purple and teal here. Um, so I, I will say the BH Cosmetic palettes, they do have so many colors that are inspiring. You can create this look in so many different facets. Just kind of pay attention to technique the main um, contour of the eye has already been made and now I'm just picking the shades I want to accent you can see that I'm just alternating shades right there on the edge which is going to be the um, most prominent point to see the colors creating the wing and um, I didn't take it all the way in because that tends to make my eye look smaller however you can create a different shape by adding more colors going all the way in to overlay the black that's been um, applied for your uh, cut crease so to speak and then you're going to create a different shape a different look um, feel free to do so I'm just edging out just edging out the wings very very um, lightly and just pulling apply the color and pull the great thing with these brushes again is um, they really hold the color that you've applied so you really don't have to apply as much color it's just mainly product placement next I'm going in and um, contouring out using my Sigma brush and my Estee Lauder rich mahogany powder using that and contouring out really working that in and um, I love the, the contour that makes I'm applying a little bit of my Ben Nye powder on the tip of my nose and blending that out um, I did use a little bit of my Estee Lauder uh, pink ingenue blush just to capture a little bit of highlight to my cheek and now I'm pop finishing off this lipstick with some Estee Lauder crystal lip gloss I will leave all the products in the down bar and there you have it my first spring preview I have not decided on the name for this look just yet but I'm probably going to name it something wing so just stay tuned thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial follow me love underscore Kiana at Instagram you'll see where I am wearing all these amazing looks and that's all we have for now Continue to leave your comments in the down bar. Like, subscribe, share. Bye.